And even if you're a skeptic, I think you would want James Webb to go back and get more data and remove the ambiguity. Because look, scientists are like everyone else. We don't like uncertainty. We don't like it's something being 50-50, there's life there and not there. We want to know the answers for sure. And so, so does everybody do that, else. We have to go back. We have to get the data and figure it out. Yeah. What's the period of this planet? It's once every 33 days. So that's how long it takes it to go around its year around the star. And it's actually convenient that the star is, I mean, if it, you're in the solar system, the sun, if you're at 33 day orbit, which is closer in the Mercury's orbit, you'd be scorching hot. So the fact this star is cooler means that this is actually still in the temperate zone, the habitable zone of its star, despite having a 33 day orbit. So this place counts as a cool world to you. I'd say so. I mean, it is, it's at the right distance, right? Where you'd call it a cool world, far enough from its star. Cool, I meant like, a dope world. Dope yeah, world. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Down with the kids world. Yeah. So this is just an overview. You're going to, on your own platform, you're going to do a deep dive into this and bring in Yeah, we're going to get factions. some of the experts. We're going to get That'll be uh, fun to watch. the lead author to come in and tell me why he believes this is real. I'm going to get a critic to come on and tell me his opinion, and then I'm going to try and break it down for the audience.